Alex, you're a good looking man. <laughs> we are grateful for those tears in your eyes Thank and the chance that you Thank give you. us to be here as family and friends. In the name of God, the creator of life and love and light, Kelly, this is a beautiful place, a sacred space, a sanctuary of earth and sky. We are grateful as family and friends to be here. Gracious God, you are good. You are full of grace and love and truth. We give you praise for this evening. Thank you, Lord, for the beauty of it, for a bride and a groom who love each other and reflect your love for all creation. We ask now that all anxiety would wash away, that apprehensions would go, and that this would be a time of great peace and joy and celebration. So I'm grateful, Kelly and Alex, to share the intensity of Scripture at this moment. It is the Song of Songs. Long ago, the poet Solomon wrote, Set me as a seal on your heart, as a seal of your arm. For love is as strong as death, passionate love, unrelenting as the grave. This is a love you've shared uh, as you met on a beach in Israel, yes? And you knew, Alex, you saw her, Kelly likewise, uh, that you would lock in and continue in your commitment together. I am so excited and I cannot wait to see you down the aisle. First day I met you, I knew you were the one. You are the image that I've always visioned. You mean everything to me and I love you so much. I can't wait to start this journey. I can't wait to have more children and have a big, happy family. The joy is that you will continue to lead each other as you follow each other in your life together. Sometimes, Kelly, you'll lead in different decisions. Sometimes, Alex, you'll lead in different decisions for Zuri together. The trust, stability, compassion, hope. These four. My hope and prayer is that 50 and 60 and 70 years from now, when you've shrunk a little bit, Alex, <laughs> <laughs> that you'll continue to remember. Trust, stability, compassion, and hope. Your team of three, and as it might grow in time, is based on how you continue to use the gifts and graces, Kelly, that you have that are profound and good, of kind heart and striking beauty, not just outward, but inward. Alex, likewise, stunning and athletic, capable, humble, a servant. Hey, Kelly, baby. I got a lot of emotions right now. Really happy and excited to be here today. I remember the day I met you in Tel Aviv, um, in Israel. For the first time I saw you, it was amazing. And you know, ever since I've been waiting for this day to come, and I'm very excited. You know, especially for our girl Zuri, uh, our little baby. She turns 15 months tomorrow, and uh, this is a big day. It's finally come, and uh, I love you to the moon and back. first moment I saw you, I knew you were the one who I wanted to share my life with. Today, I take you as my wife. Together, we will create a life that is truly beautiful, created with light, love, and laughter. I promise to support our family full of love, patience, and understanding. I promise to love you faithfully through difficult and easy times, to love you in sickness and in health. To love you for eternity, respecting you and honoring you.
went on, knowing that there's much travel involved across the seas, knowing there are different languages to be learned to, we're grateful to look to you. So if we would do our part as friends and family together to encourage them from this moment forward in their life together, please say we will. Amen. This is it. And you are with me forever. <laughs> forever. Eternity. <laughs> Alex, I believe in you. The person you will be and the couple we will be together. I take you as my husband wholeheartedly, acknowledging and accepting your faults and strengths as you do mine. I will always be honest, kind, patient, and forgiving. I promise to be faithful and supportive and to always make our family's love and happiness my priority. I promise to love you, our beautiful baby girl, and our future children unconditionally. I will be yours in sickness and in health, in failure and in triumph. I will honor you, respect you, encourage you, and cherish you. You are the best thing that has ever happened to me, and you make me a better person. You are a great father, and you will be a great husband. I love you so much. See you down the aisle. It is the beautiful language of St. Paul the Apostle to the Corinthian community of Christians who writes those familiar words of love. And he says, love is patient. Love is kind and is not jealous. Love does not brag. Love does not act arrogant. It does not act unbecomingly. Love does not seek its own. Love is not provoked and does not take into account a wrong suffered. Love does not rejoice in unrighteousness, but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Indeed, love never fails. It is humbling to ask this question, Kevin. Who blesses Kelly to be married to Alex this evening? Her mother and I. Amen. What can I say that I haven't already said? What can I provide that I haven't already given you? My body, my mind, my soul is all yours. For whatever may come, I promise to always be there for you. As I give my life to you, Missouri and I love you very much. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my vow. As a symbol of my vow. With all that I am. With all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of God. In the name of God. Amen. Amen. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my vow. As a symbol of my vow. With all that I am. With all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. Amen. Amen. You are the love of my life, and I'm so honored to be your wife. I love you so much. <laughs> and indeed, all God's people said. Amen. Amen. At this time, Kelly, Alex, I'm grateful to say to you, my brother, you may kiss your bride. Family and friends, I'm grateful to introduce to you all Mr. and Mrs. Alexander Trent Tyus. person I was supposed to grow old with, but she shows in love over the single life with me.
on her for anything. She's got the biggest heart of anyone I've ever met. Everyone has been asking me embarrassing stories about Kelly, but in our group, we never kiss and tell. Alex, you better take care of my girl. I love you guys so much. First, I want to say um, today's actually my birthday. So, no, no, no. I'm gonna thank Alex, been a great friend that he is, for putting this great birthday party on for me. It really means a lot to me. Thank you, I appreciate it. Uh, I've actually known Alex for 25 years, which is crazy because believe it or not, I've known him since a point where I was actually taller than him. Basically, um, Alex moved on to, over to, you know, Europe, and I stayed over in Tampa. He texted me. He's like, dude, I met this girl overseas. I'm like, what? He's like, yeah, man, this girl bad. Bad. This girl bad. Alex has always been the type of person where when you talk to him, you can kind of feel his energy through the phone. And similar to what David said, uh, I remember him calling me like, yo, this girl's crazy. I met this girl, bro. She's so nice. Wait till you see her. of your daughter. I'm so happy for the both of you, and I know you guys are going to have an amazing, successful marriage. To Kelly and Alex, y'all. so excited and you, you, it's one of those things where with love you, you, you can't really you can feel it through a phone I can just sense that you know he loved her so much and uh, Kelly like I said you've made Alex so happy I'm uh, so happy for you guys like I said with Alex everything has always been about basketball it's his first love so like I said I was thinking about it today I mean you got Kelly and Zuri you already got two players, so we got to add some more players to your basketball team so we can get a full, a full roster, right? We've been there for each other through some of the hardest times in our lives, through accidents, breakups, emotional and mental breakdowns, and a whole lot of hangovers. We've shared a lot of tears, but a lot more laughter. I know I wouldn't be the person I am today without her. She's more than a best friend, she's like a sister to me. I am so proud of the woman that you've become and the life that you've chosen for yourself, especially the man you've chosen to spend the rest of your life with. You better take care
care of her, but at least I can say that and I don't have to worry about it because I know you will. You guys give me hope that when two people truly love each other, nothing can keep them apart. relationship that has caught fire. May y'all's fire stay strong and bright and fill with love and laughter for at least 50 years. Indeed, you can do that, <laughs> yes. Quite hard. <laughs> have a lipstick issue, yes. Thank you. Well done. So I, I do uh, take joy in pronouncing you husband and wife uh, with right. bugs and reality of nature all around us. It is a great night.